Hymns from the Rig Veda with commentary by Sri Aurobindo and translations by Sri Aurobindo and Nalini Kanta Gupta. The Rig Veda is itself the one considerable document that remains to us from the early period of human thought of which the historic Eleusinian and Orphic mysteries were the failing remnants when the spiritual and psychological knowledge of the race was concealed for reasons now difficult to determine in a veil of concrete and material figures and symbols which protected the sense from the profane and revealed it to the initiated. One of the leading principles of the mystics was the sacredness and secrecy of self-knowledge and the true knowledge of the gods. The wisdom was, they thought, unfit, perhaps even dangerous to the ordinary human mind, or in any case liable to perversion and misuse and loss of virtue if revealed to vulgar and unpurified spirits. Hence they favored the existence of an outer worship, effective but imperfect for the profane, and an inner discipline for the initiate, and clothed their language in words and images which had equally a spiritual sense for the elect, a concrete sense for the mass of ordinary worshipers. The Vedic hymns were conceived and constructed on this principle. Mandala 10, Sukta 129 the hymn of creation. Rishi Prajapati Parameshti Devata Bhava Vrittam Om No Sadasi No Sadasi Tadani Nasi Drajo No Vyoma Paruyata Kimavarivasuhakasyasharmanambhakimasigahanangabhiramnamrityurasidamritannatarehnaratriyasnaasipraketa Anidavatam svadhyata dekam tasmatthanyanna parahkinchanasu tamaasitamasagurhamagre praketam salilam sarvama idam Tuchye nabhvapihitam yadasita pasastan mahina jayataikam kamastadagri samavartatadhimana surita prathamam yadasita Sato bandhu masati niravindan rudi pratishya kavayo manisha irashino vitato rashmiresha madhasvidasi dhuparisvidasi Ritudha asan mahimana asan svadha avastat prayate parastat ko adhave daka iha pravo chat kuta aja ta kuta yam Arva Deva Asya Visarja Nena Thako Vedayata Abhavu Yam Visrush 
हिरियत आभू वयदि वे यदि वान यो अस्याध्यक्षस्परमेव्यो मंसो अंगवेद यदि वान वेद ओ then existence was not nor non-existence the mid-world was not nor the ether nor what is beyond what covered all where was it in whose refuge what was that ocean dense and deep death was not nor immortality nor the knowledge of day and night that one lived without breath by his self law there was nothing else nor aught beyond it in the beginning darkness was hidden by darkness all this was an ocean of inconscience when universal being was concealed by fragmentation then by the greatness of its energy that one was born that moved at first as desire within which was the primal seed of mind the seers of truth discovered the building of being in non-being by will in the heart and by the thought their ray was extended horizontally but what was there below what was there above there were casters of the seed there were greatnesses there was self law below there was will above who knows in truth who would tell us here below from where was it born whence the surging creation the gods stand below this surging out abroad who knows then from where this took birth that from where this creation has sprung does that even contain it or does it not he who is its overlord in the supreme infinity does he even know or he too knows not Oh peace peace peace